Ephesians 1, 7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the richness of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. He made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure. Okay. So in Christ, we know that we have redemption through, our, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, and that's in accordance with the riches of God's grace, which he lavished upon us. So let me just see, you know, this is the lavishness God has poured upon us with all wisdom and understanding. So you never get to understand totally the salvation of God and how, how on earth the in, God can incarnate into this world, was willing to do that. That is a mystery. I mean, that's obviously God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to this world so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. But the, the, the whole concept of the whole idea of Son of God incarnate to become a man, that is, that, that is always a mystery. How can God and man become one? So, so that kind of thing. So that's why it's a mystery. But what is this mystery? That mystery is all wisdom and understanding of God. We don't even have one-tenth or one-thousandth of God's wisdom and understanding. So let's just stay in our lane, but try to embrace that. But if Christians don't embrace the vastness of the, of the, of the, um, of the mystery of the richness of God's grace, then we're missing out. That's why you will be living a diminished Christian life if you don't uh, grasp the vastness of God's grace towards us. That mystery is totally the grace of God. You see that that's why it's the riches of God's grace. You know how rich it is the grace of God He lavished upon us? Because Jesus poured His blood, forgiveness of sins, you see. Uh, let me just read to you more. Um, okay. Uh, Ephesians 1, 4 says, For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love, He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. <laughs> the fact that God in his love, he predestined. You know what predestined is? Predestined is God destinated before you were even born, before the world was even created, before the foundation of the earth. God has already loved us. God has predestined us to adopt us as sons. You know, the, the idea, the concept, the idea of adoption as God's sons is these things, is 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 one of the most radical concept, a radical idea in in the world. There's no religion in the world that actually can go anywhere close to that. For check it out, all the the religions. There's no religion that God's gonna adopt you as sons and daughters. All right. So remember, a lot of pe times people say, "Oh, sons of God." You know, we're all children made by God. That's why we're children of God. But have you ever heard of the word adopt? That is, that is actually going more than just a, a, a glibly, just flimsily called as children of God, etc. He actually adopted us. Without adopting us, we'd never become children of God. And that's through Jesus Christ. So that is the richness of the grace of God.